Okay, so it's a new day, a new Kawaii yeast. Today I am doing the uh, Stig Stalgen. I've just bumped it up from a one and a half liter starter to a three liter starter. Uh, Sun these Hornendal. So looking at the uh, pH on this one, um, it's down to 3.37, which is just a little bit more than the Murray which was a 3.4 and um, the gravities I usually start off right around a 1.040 uh, or a 1.039 try and target that area so you can see it's kind of finished out at a uh, 1.0055 maybe it's uh, not quite down to the 006 but it's about halfway between the 5 uh, to the 6 so it's uh, finished out pretty low, um, and it's uh, you know been on a starter for a few days. So let's go ahead and uh, take a, ta a taste test. All right, so here we go. Um, the Stig Stolzen. First uh, impression on the aroma is like a apple cider. It's also got hints of uh, rose petals, like uh, roses. A little bit of earthiness. But just ever so slightly. It's really dominated by that sort of cidery aspect of it, uh, followed by the, um, the flowers, uh, rose petals sort of uh, aroma. So let's go ahead, dive in, and uh, get the taste. Cheers. Get just an ever slight hint of um, tartness. I get that apple. It's more of a floral sort of uh, in the middle of the palate. And um, it's pretty smooth actually. So it's um, it's more complex than the the Murray was, but um, no but. It's it's just what it is. It's got a nice little tartness to it in the front. It's got that sort of a little bit of cidery aspect of it, but on the flavor, the cider and the floral are pretty balanced. And just a nice clean aftertaste. Uh, not bad. So that's the uh, Stig Stalgen. Um, yep. The uh, the next one will probably be the uh, Arva Espe. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Cheers. <laughs> 